Here's two more ways to join a granny square. Right now I'm working with the two right sides together, but it could be the other way around. You notice I have not put an edge on it. Usually you work around maybe with a single crochet or a double crochet. These are the granny squares just as they are, and I'm uniting them in the spaces. I did a slip stitch to connect them in the spaces. I'm chaining three to move across the three double crochets, and I'm going through the two spaces doing a single crochet. I'm going to chain three more, work into that next space, and it's just a matter of having your spaces lined up. Doing my last three, and I'm going to join it in the corner just to show you. And again, this decorative part would either be on the front or the back, however you choose to use it. And if you're using the same color as your border, of course it's not going to show up as much, but I'm using a different color yarn. And on the other side you can see you've got the loops through the spaces. Another way to join is to use to create a ridge using a single crochet seam and again I could work it on either side. Right now I'm working with the two wrong sides together and I'm working on the front side and I'm just matching the edging. This one I had gone around with a double crochet but you could have used a single crochet and I'm going through the top two loops of the front and the top two loops of the back and making a single crochet. I'll do a few more. Now this does make a definite ridge that moves along the top so it is a little bulkier the fabric that it creates and when you get down to the end you match your corners and you can see this is a definite bulky ridge that is on this side and it is plain on the other side and if you use the same color yarn it would be less obvious. But you could use it this way to make a decorative edge also. If you would like to see any free patterns or have the instructions written out go to free patterns at simpleandsensational.com